Alrighty, alrighty. Hopefully, we got ourselves a little bit of audio. Last time I tried to film this video, we didn't have no audio, man. We was out cruising around, not doing anything crazy. Probably gonna go get some ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, last time, we came out for a nice little evening ride to go get some ice cream. And uh, one, the ice cream place was packed. So we didn't stop because my social anxiety got me and I was like, oh my god, there's too many people, I'm not gonna stop. And then uh, I went for a nice little like 40 minute ride and all of it got corrupted because we had no audio. And not necessarily corrupted, but it just got fucked because no audio. Uh, in the proper way that my mics didn't give audio, but there was some clips that had GoPro audio and then there were other clips that just had no audio. So that's what the like little three minute video is of me riding with some music over it uh yeah so we're just re we're doing it we're redoing it man we're gonna go get get some icy ice cream and uh it's a lot chillier than i thought it was man hey jeez oh peeps definitely a lot chillier than i thought it was but uh yeah man i found a little parkour park over there um, I, we rode the bikes over here through the trail and the kids were playing at the park and I went over to this other thing and I was like, yo, what is this? And it's like, uh, like a CrossFit parkour park and it's honestly pretty fucking badass. Maybe we'll make a video doing some physical activity over there or something, I don't know. I've been really on the fitness journey lately, trying to fucking gain muscle mass. That's a hard thing for me to do. I've always struggled with like gaining weight and mass uh in general so finally we got a nice little bit of muscle build going and uh i think i need to really just increase my protein intake i think that's a big big part of my problem is i'm not intaking enough protein uh i have a shake thing that i drink i think it's like 30 or 40 grams of protein and then on top of like the chicken and everything else that I'm eating every day, I basically only eat chicken. Uh, I eat like one or two pounds, maybe three pounds of chicken a day. It just depends. Like if I'm really hungry, I'm eating like three pounds of chicken for sure. Like if I'm not, I'm only eating like maybe a pound and a half, two pounds uh, between like lunch and dinner type of situation. I don't really eat breakfast, but yeah, I don't know. That shit's fun though. I'm small and like lean and have the muscle ability to like do the calisthenic shit where like some of it's like almost like scaling a wall and that shit's fucking dope to me. There's a run and you gotta jump and hang on this net. I haven't done that one yet. I'm afraid I'm gonna fucking not grip on good enough and just fall straight to my back and just smack, you know? Do one of those big ol' yeets. imagine I didn't I didn't even give it any gas I just just said fuck the clutch Jesus Christ I feel so bad for my bike sometimes I don't I'm not nice to it at all we're at 1700 miles though let's go we hit 1700 we've not been riding for shit lately that's for sure ride a little bit but not enough now this road Road I normally go fast on. Squidward if you want baby because I'm gonna go splat I hope I die fuck I gotta stop saying that I stopped saying that for the longest time and it just entered my vocabulary again it's not a good thing to say I don't actually want to die I just want to feel more alive to be honest that's the difference for some reason the adrenaline and the speed they make me feel alive baby they give me a superpower called fuck it ah. <laughs> you know that's like the release the joy 
de durée. I'm just hoping Melissa doesn't check my location. <laughs> Why didn't you invite me and the girls? Ember's asleep. You and Kylie are in bed. I just wanted some time <laughs> alone. I'm surrounded by women all day. Sometimes I just need a break. <laughs> uh, I'm yawning. I gotta stop yawning. It's only uh, it's nine o'clock. It's it's valid. We can be tired. Baby got up at like I don't even know. I think like seven thirty-eight. Didn't go to bed till late last night. We went to Detroit to a car show. We'll have a video on that. That was pretty fun. That car show was lit. Um, showdown in Motown at Belle Isle. I went like two or three years in a row now and it's pretty dope. And they have like this little sound competition and these cars set up like tweeters and super big old bass like displays and it's honestly pretty cool. I enjoyed it. We'll have a video on it though. Let's see how popping is it. I mean, there's a lot of cars there, but the line's not too bad. There's a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting ice cream. I don't give a fuck. We'll park. We'll park on the side somewhere. I'm gonna just, honestly. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna park right by the fucking trash can, cause fuck it. Yeet. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna park right here. I don't really care. Front row parking, bitch. It's your friend. Chilling. Alright, hopefully the phone clip came through, but we got our fucking ice cream. We smashed that shit real quick. <clears throat> now this dude's about to reverse out of here. And I'm about to go home, too. Got a nice ass fucking car. It's loping, baby. It's Cammy, baby. She. <laughs> oh, let's go home. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna go home. I don't know what my plan is yet. We're still gonna go right around, probably. <laughs> but. into traffic without some getting smashed. These need to go inside of my hoodie. I'm gonna go home and play some CSGO. That sounds like a good old time. Maybe with some cases. I have some Operation Breakout cases and some Phoenix cases and some Gamma cases. I think I have like maybe 30 cases across the board. Obviously not all of that. I think I only have like two of each of the ones I just listed, but that's still all right. Uh, I'm gonna go right here. Good, there's nobody behind us. <laughs> oh, minus not shifting proper. I mean, we're good with the speed. Now that is a sight. Oh, I love the lake. I like the lake, but I wouldn't really want to live on the water.
Sorry I'm not talking, I'm kind of focused on my riding apparently. Probably shouldn't go too fast. It was honestly pretty rocky through here last time. I would hate to. So like, which one's low side and which one's high side? Is low siding like going underneath and high side? I like, I don't know how the fuck, what is the terminology? I know it just means the bike slides out from on you, but I'm like, that's what I'm afraid of happening. Where it's rocky like that. Hey, I used your driveway for a picture one time, bro. Be a nice picture tonight. Beautiful sights. It'd be nice, though, to go out on the boat. Drink a little bit, smoke a little bit. Yeah, I see right there, bro. God damn. I wish I got paid to do this, like, ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't we all? Very socialist of me. Pay me to do nothing. <laughs> Literally. Uh, pay me to sit on my ass and edit YouTube videos and have a little bit of a fun day. And, uh, I mean, I pretty much already do this, so it doesn't matter. But, like, I'm also a productive member of society, so I guess that's cool, too. I guess why not the best of both worlds? I remember what it was like when I was struggling and struggling. That shit was bad. And, like, sometimes I forget about how far I've come from those moments, even though those moments were only, like, 10 years ago at this rate. You know? Like, I'm only 27. So... I feel like I've come a long way. I'm just a little bit of an egotistical, greedy fuck sometimes, and I gotta just be happy with what I got and respect what I got, but also have that fire inside of me to continue on, but to not be a pussy about it. Like, don't let that shit get to you so that you just sit there complacent and upset and depressed, like, oh my god, everybody's out to get me. Uh, you know? Like, it's just such a piss poor attitude and mindset to have. I'm just breaking that. You gotta break that mold, dude. I feel like all of us have to. But we're all going through the same bullshit. At the end of the day, we all have our own fights. We all have our own little problems. And our own pasts and traumas that we've been through. No matter how small or extreme they are. But then again, it's like, part of me is like... We gotta draw a line at a certain point, and is that hypocritical to say, potentially? But, I don't know, man. You just gotta find what makes you happy, kill those traumas, and don't use them as a stepping stone and a crutch to be like, uh -huh, care about my feelings, you know? That's, that's really what I'm trying to get at. But part of me feels like that's like, diminishing and hypocritical to say because I'm still saying no matter how big or small your problems are, they matter. So, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's a weird it's a weird world that we live in. It's like, where do, you, where do you draw the line? Like, I guess it's all personal. It's like, I have my own line that I draw, and I'm like, dude, you're a pussy if you're complaining about that. But to the, oh, we're not even in first. I thought we were in first. But to the person that I'm calling a pussy, they might not, they might not feel like that, you know? They might like be like, well, I just think you're super hardcore and an extremist. <laughs> so... <laughs> you gotta see both sides of the fields and I see them. I just I don't know what side of the grass is greener I might stay on my side of the fence where stop being a fucking pussy and uh, Get out live a little bit have a little fun Stop caring about other people so much Stop commenting on other people's life so much, you know Just live I try not to comment on people's lives 
externally. Internally, I judge for sure, but I think that might be part of it, is my own insecurities are I judge people so much that it's like I'm insecure that people are judging me. It's like, goddamn, stop being a piece of shit and judging, but it's a hard mold to break. Because I'll judge somebody and then two seconds later I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and be like, damn, you know what, I shouldn't have said anything like that in my head. Like, it's like, I feel bad. Like, they're a good person. They mean well. Like, what do they do to deserve me talking shit to them? So, yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, life's a roller coaster. Feelings are crazy. Treating people ways is crazy. I'm trying to understand the whole thing is crazy. It's always going to be a crazy concept to me. Forever learning. We're forever evolving. So, on that note, thank you all for watching and listening to me rant. We got some ice cream. It was a good time. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.